Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So we are back with uh, a Kafka tutorial where we are going to see how you can install uh, Kafka using Docker Compose. So in my uh, previous tutorial, I've showed you how you can set up Kafka and uh, you know, Zookeeper uh, using simple Docker. You have to run the Docker commands. To make it that more simplified, this will be a continuation of it or you don't need to see that because it's a completely different uh, tutorial if you don't understand that also it's fine you can just directly go with this uh, tutorial to run your kafka and zookeeper using docker compose so what we are going to do is we are going to run kafka and also docker uh, you know, zookeeper on docker and what we are going to use uh, docker compose uh, you know where we'll be writing the docker compose yaml file and once we run it you are going to have uh, the the docker containers for kafka and zookeeper so in order to uh, start this process, you know, you need to have a basic understanding of Docker and you need to have a Docker uh, setup or you need to have a system where you have Docker installed. So if you don't have that, have that information, how to set up Docker, I would uh, recommend you to go and check my tutorial on how to set up Docker so you, you can set up your Docker. And also you need to have uh, Docker Compose installed on that machine. So it's a simple process. You can follow my tutorial so you can just set up your uh, CentOS or Ubuntu or some other Windows machines where you have Docker and Docker Compose installed. And you should not understand how the zoo, uh, Kafka and Zookeeper works. You also need to have a, a basic understanding of Kafka and Zookeeper. We are not going to do an uh, in-depth process here. We're just going to show you how to set up Kafka and Zookeeper so you can create your you know, um, uh, Zookeeper connections and you can also create all your partitions and you know all those things. Can, you know? So uh, we are going to you know uh, also going to see the complete Docker Compose uh, YAML file. So that is the base of this. So you can see the whole uh, YAML file and then you can use that to run your you know system. Okay. So as I said, you know what we are going to do. We are going to see, uh, set up your Kafka and Zookeeper on Docker. So how we are going to do this? We are going to write our uh, the Docker Compose YAML file where it will have two sections. One is for your the service zookeeper and other one is for your kafka okay so this is how it look like i'll show you in the visual studio code editor and we'll use that into our uh, docker system and we'll run it okay so if you here if you see you have uh, 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 two services one is for zookeeper and another one is for kafka right and we are using the image for zookeeper and also for kafka depending upon which service and i'm going to give a name for the container uh, for the zookeeper container zookeeper and also the container for kafka as kafka and we are going to open the ports like 2181 to uh, as for from the container and also from the system for zookeeper whereas for kafka i'm using 9092 and 9093 and i'm also going to use some uh, environment variable and uh, other settings like uh, restart and last re uh, stop so the important part is from the kafka environment variable where you need to set up you know the main thing which is the advertised host so in my case i have given an ip address uh, which is for my host you need to check that in your computer i will show you you check your uh, host ip address and you put that into your docker compose file and the kafka zookeeper connect i'm going to use the zookeeper colon 2181 because i'm using the service name as zookeeper in the services name if you are using a different name in the services other than zookeeper you need to change that here as well and the port number as well if you are using you know the local host uh, different port number okay so this will be the overall uh, the yaml file now let's see the same thing in our uh, visual studio and we will use that to uh, run it on your docker machine so we are on the you know the uh, visual studio code so this is the same yaml file i explained you in the presentation so it has uh, two services one is for zookeeper another one is for kafka and the images and the container name port number and you know this ip address i'm uh, having it from my machine so you can see i go to my machine and if i check my ip address it comes like you know the 192.168.39.4234 so if you have it uh, you different you need to put that in that into the yaml file uh, to the yaml file docker compose yaml file so you can put that and then you can you know uh, update this uh, one so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to create a, a docker compose file so i'm going to use vi editor so docker compose dot yaml okay and I'm going to paste this content over here. So you can see whatever we showed there, I'm just copying and pasting it. And, and I'm just going to 
save this file so you can see I have a file called docker compose.yaml right now if I see I don't have any containers running and I don't have anything uh, uh, killed as well so or you know containers which are stopped now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use docker uh, compose up okay so this is going to create the containers and also it's going to start uh, the container so you can see it's the st start of the process we need to wait for the whole uh, process to complete then it will connect and it will wait for the next actions okay so i'm going to open a new shell and i'm going to check the docker files okay docker container so you can see the containers are running so you can see one container is Kafka, another one, another container is Zookeeper, right? Now I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, I try to uh, connect to this container, so Docker exec, okay, and it, and uh, the container name is Kafka, and we are going to use bin slash bash, okay? So I'm inside the container now, so you can see this container I'm inside, and I'm going to go into the location for where the Kafka is installed. So it should be opt slash uh, Kafka and bin. Okay. So if I see, you can see all the Kafka files here. Like you know, uh, so when this Kafka is set up, you can see see a lot of shell files, and we are going to use these shell files to start our process and stuff, right? So you can see quite a lot of shell files. So I'm not going to explain all those things. So that's what I said. You need to have a basic understanding of kafka how you use all those things so which you can you know uh, check out in the you know, other tutorials and about maybe you know later point i will also create some tutorial on that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a topic so i'm going to use kafka topic dot shell file so you can see the shell file is here and i'm going to use create topic and the topic name would be test and then the calling the zookeeper which would be in this uh, ip address or my host name okay host ip so as i said in your case you need to change it and i'm going to use partition one and replication one okay and i'm going to uh, uh, run this command so this would be you know a command to create the topic now you can see it has created the topic right and you can also see here you know if there are any processes running or all those kind of things you'll be able to see in the this is a shell uh, connection because you know, uh, I, I did not run my Docker Compose in the detached mode. Since I run it in the you know, attached mode, it just created, you know, uh, a normal instance where it's running on the shell. Okay, if you're using hyphen D, you won't see that. Now, you know, here if you can see the create uh, topic, right? So topic is uh, created. So it's pretty simple. So, you know, uh, I just want to show you how these uh, containers are running. So now you can see Docker P as you have two containers, right? One is for Kafka and Zookeeper. You can simply create your container using the Docker Compose file and you can start working on the Kafka and you can learn uh, more about it. If you don't want to use the Docker Compose, you can use manually run these commands, which I showed it in my previous tutorial. So you can refer that as well. You can use uh, the commands manually, uh, like what I showed on the screen. So you can refer my previous tutorial, or you can copy and paste these commands, and you can create your separate container as well. But I would suggest you just use the Docker Compose. It's a simple file. Put it to your GitHub and just run it uh, whenever you want. So that is all from my end. So thank you for watching and uh, I would uh, request you like, you know, if you're new to my channel or if you're not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button and also like my video, share and uh, give your uh, comments in the feedback section. Uh, you, you give your feedback in the comment section. So thank you for watching.